Hello everybody, this is Zigzag Zog coming to you from somewhere in this world and we're back to continue our playthrough of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen featuring the amazing Long War of the Chosen mod. Uh, Operation Dragon Blade is ahead of us. Uh, we have to rescue a defector, which is a much needed scientist for us and uh, what do you know, it's also a liberation chain mission, so it kind of checks off two boxes uh, that we need. Um, we did boost it last time, as you saw, just because we had some force levels coming in here. Uh, strength is up to level three from level, I think it was as low as level one. Um, so it really bumped on up. Uh, so we're going to have to deal with that. Um, let's take a look at the squad. But fortunately, it's managed, should be, or I should just, I should say should be manageable if I can untie my tongue and uh, it's extremely light even though we do have a squad of four that we're taking out but I have confidence in these guys. Robbie Zasso is our technical bond mate. Callum Robertson will uh, hopefully do the sneaky stuff for us as our shinobi. Sebastian is our ranger and Guinan is our assault. So we have some abilities here. We have some guys early on in the game uh, that hopefully will do the job for us. Let's get down there and, uh, oh, actually, we also have some uh, Advent loot that may be down there. Advent forces have stockpiled extra materials in storage chests near this site. So we'll cross our fingers, hope we can keep our eyes open and find some then and take advantage of that. Let's get down there. The spokesman just sent word of a friendly VIP recently captured by Advent who's being moved through this area on one of their transport vehicles. We're heading in to get a drop on the transport and free that captive. Expect hostile resistance. Secure the area and clear out anyone who stands in your way. All right, headed down to Porto Alegre, and uh, it's a city map, uh, Advent Central Zone. Uh, let's hope it's favorable to us with our four-man team. Menace One Five, we have a confirmed location for the VIP. Move to rendezvous. Eliminate all hostile contacts. All right. Looks like uh, as it panned out there, I'm seeing a lot of rooftops. Yep, we're seeing a lot of rooftops in the direction. As you, you know how early game I love my rooftops. So uh, let's see if we can't get up to this rooftop. See if we can make our way there. Then it looks like we'll have a, a short little jump to get over here. Or if we're even luckier... <laughs> the buildings are attached, but I think we'll have a short alleyway over there. We've got a nice pole right here off on the edge of the map that should be hopefully safe to get on up. So, Callum, why don't you take the first look for us? See if we can get our team up high. And so far, so good. And just because <laughs> lone drones have a habit of sitting up high here and we can't really get you in cover if you go up. Uh, so, Callum, we're just going to park you at the base of this pipe. Aye, Commander. And we'll do all our climbing next turn. Uh, Guinan, we'll, get, we'll just, we'll just run everybody up here to make this happen. Hmm. Do we dare keep, keep us out in the open? Uh, I think given uh, how far we are away from the zone, uh, we can get away with it this turn. Rolling out. Sounded like a door. I don't know a what door, but doesn't matter now. We're going, we're live, and it, yeah, it looks like there's something in between we're going to have to cross. Uh, so let's do our blue move over here, Callum. See if we can get you over to the far edge. Once we get our bearings up here and it looks safe. Do we have a peak over here? Actually, this is probably the alley I'm more concerned about. Or we may... Hmm, network tower... I'm not sure... We'll, we'll, this has corner cover to get you to the edge, so let's start out with a peak over on this side. We can always then come more forward. As you see. And we see our first pod. And it's only one pod, as a matter of fact, sitting here by our target vehicle over here. So we might, and I'm not seeing, the, the sit rep says there's crates around. So far, I'm not seeing any crates or loot. So um, we may not have access to them. We'll see if they pop, pop up. 
We'll see if they pop up at probably some really inconvenient time. And yeah, I'm not interested in uh, being near the gas pumps, that's for sure. Okay, Guinan, let's get your set of eyes over here to take a peek. And then we'll bring the slower dudes up behind. Got it. And they're walking our way. Wow, we could make a mighty explosion now, couldn't we? <laughs> oh, that's so tempting to just make a big old bang explosion uh, really is going to expose well I guess Callum you would stay hidden that would be the advantage to doing it but boy it would sure do a world of hurt on these guys now wouldn't it uh, so maybe Sebastian will have you do the honors it's hard to pass up those big booms and since it is a extremely light mission 7 to 9 uh, I think we're just going to go ahead and do it before they move away <laughs> From the gas tank. Uh, that, uh, that's going to leave us with a uh, pesky. Yeah, definitely a pesky sectoid who won't die in this explosion. Uh, but we'll see. Do I want anybody? Do I want to get somebody up on Overwatch, perhaps? Uh, my out would be run and gun, or uh, I'd like to keep Callum hidden. Um, before we take that shot, let's see. Robbie? Uh, should we try getting you up here and put you on overwatch? There shouldn't be a need right away of any of your uh, boom power here, so let's just let's just overwatch you And let's go live right here right now. Let's make it happen. Oh, you got to love these explosions. <laughs> Sectoid is uh, scampering, and can we take him down? Oh, we sure can. Way to come through, Robbie. Nice. Loud, but nice start. Uh, what we may want to do uh, with you now, Callum, is get a better idea of what else we're dealing with over here. We could have enemies back behind, closer to our evac zone. I'm kind of thinking I may try sneaking you down here, come over on this roof just to give us another perspective. And we'll get the rest of us then kind of set up on the roof. Well, let's, let's see what you see first of all, Callum. Confirmed. We can get you up to some cover here. And we're going to see what that explosion draws towards us. That's for dang sure. Okay, we got some eyes. So we now know we're another pod. Uh, blinked on, I think it's another pod of three. So uh, that's not bad to know. My only question is, uh, is the other pod over in this direction? So is it safe to move down quite yet? Um, I think I'm going to... Hold the high ground one more turn. Yes. Mainly because we all can't move. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's the biggest reason. Uh, so, Gaiden, we'll just have you overwatch. And let's see what kind of reactions we get to that explosion. Oh, the other one's trailing behind us. Do they see us from here? No, they do. They don't. It makes it seem like uh, we're... Okay, we see them with you, Callum. So now, all of a sudden, I'm feeling uh, a dash forward. Now, we didn't get a sense of where these guys go, or were, or have been. Um, Sebastian, can you get down anywhere convenient in a blue move? Not really... We can get high cover here, moving us up to some more high cover here. Then we're going to...
probably gain sight. I, my, my best guess is this, this pod is reacting and moving towards us this way. Um, Callum, can we take a look up here with you or off in this direction with you? Well, there's cover right here. I don't know if that'll give us much vision if they happen to be right down there, but let's move you up here. And it gives us a fair vision around here. You have to worry about them coming up the pole and exposing you, but for the moment, they don't seem, unless they've uh, entered the building, but we didn't hear glass. We did, Oh, this door is already open, so that's probably the earlier door we heard open, so they could be coming back through this door. But I think it's time for us to get ourselves down. Probably should have left you with sight on them while I got down just to make sure because now I don't know if this uh, loot is going to be fair game for us but Sebastian let's come down here and that's three pods of three so there's our nine we kind of know where they are now um, <clears throat> well it's not a hundred percent clear vision down here to see what we see uh, but this is full cover if it's a mistake for you, Sebastian. Uh, so we're going to take the chance. And okay, we, we it worked out for us. It worked out for us. Um, now, if, if you saw him from there, there's a chance. So maybe what we can do... Can we get that loot? Can we get that loot? Yes. I hope, I hope your yes means yes we can. Uh, now these guys, more than likely, they'd be in yellow alert though. I have a feeling coming here might give us the vision up through that window uh, to have them go live. So I'm a little nervous. So let, let, let's hold off one more turn on uh, picking up that loot. See if we can't pick it up next turn. Maybe come over here in preparation for it. Do we have a path through the flames to get to that loot if I come here? The car's already, everything's already exploded to Hall Kingdom come <laughs> by putting you here. Let's try it, Guinan. And Robbie, I think uh, with that in mind, we're just going to dash you up here. Roger that. No overwatch if anyone gets wandering into us, but we'll survive. We'll just make it happen. Well, for such a loud announcement, uh, we sure don't have the pods coming or uh, running towards us now, do we? Uh, Guinan, can I run you right here to pick it up? Advanced laser sight. We like seeing words like advanced, supreme, <laughs> high level. <laughs> uh, let's get you up here towards our target. And uh, wow, amazing. All of a sudden I'm feeling a little stealthy, aren't you? We're just going to give you the hack. It looks like 0% uh, to get anything. Your hack is that low, huh, Sebastian? <laughs> let's, let's pass on that. And uh, let's put someone else uh, to try next turn. I don't think one turn is going to hurt us. Uh, Robbie will bring you up Ready here on Overwatch. In fact, where do I want you, Callum? Can't quite get around the vehicle here. Really gets us close by each other now, doesn't it? Uh, now you're hidden. Let's let's try you behind this car for the moment. Orders received. All right, let's get Overwatch, guys. Got it covered. They move. They they die. Die.
So, so far our experience uh, on these missions, uh, we've had a couple missions where, especially that one uh, by the train where they hear the noise and they run in the opposite direction. You'd think an explosion would draw pods like, uh, you know, bees, bears to honey, but I guess uh, we now unlock the back door. This time, let's see if you, Robbie, have uh, better chances oh, to no. unlock it with perks. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it's better. <laughs> now the 2% makes a difference, right? Attempting a breach. One of the funds of not having a specialist on the mission. Um, Reduces contact cost for a nearby region, large, where supplies has been okay. Not that we're going to get 2%. It's just the thought. It's just the idea. <laughs> have you noticed every time we have these really, really low percentages, it, it teases us by getting really close. Yikes. All right. Robbie, can we get you moving? Is there... Uh, oh, actually, your hack ended your turn. Let's see where our path to the roof is going to take us. It looks, at, looks like we got an up, upstairs path over here. And then on the back side, it looks like we got a pole. So that looks to be the path we're all going to take. So, Sebastian, let's get you up here. Mr. Scientist Man, we need you bad. Let's get you moving. And uh, Callum, you're still not exposed. And if we run you up here, we can expose you by getting a civilian to scream at you. So now we'll just park you on the corner here to keep some eyes around the corner. Get your belts on. And Guinan. You are sure you're doing the right thing. Enemy activity. All right, now, a little too late, they're starting to move towards us. All righty. Uh, Robbie, would be nice to get you up near the res. Let's move, let's move some of these guys out of the way so you can tuck yourself into cover. Yes, I'm Vrota. Let's get our scientist moving. In fact, let's find out if our scientist can make it out on this next dash. It's going to be close, and he can. There. One part of the mission completed successfully. VIP secure in position for evac. All right, let's get ourselves moving. Guinan, let's get you up top also. And now, Robbie, we got a spot to tuck you into. I'm all over it. Just in case those guys all of a sudden gain uh, massive speed to catch up to us. But I think we're safe, guys. I think we are safe. But the only one uh, that may take two turns to get out of here, we'll find out, is Robbie, if he's just a little bit too far back. So let's just overwatch everybody. I'm ready. Right. The most important part about working someplace like this is the art of listening. All right, uh, let's get us up to the top. Um, I'm not really uh, interested in moving us out yet. Let's let's get up here, and then then the question will be answered because we'll go to Robbie next, see if he can make it out, or if we got to park for one more turn. And yeah, Robbie, thank you. You can get us out of here. Let's all just hustle and finish this mission. Another one of those. Uh, Kind of feels unsatisfactory when you get out of here and escape without activating everybody. Do we see someone? Yeah. <laughs> we see you. Goodbye. Well, that was only a pot of two, so maybe, maybe there is a lone drone around there somewhere, too. So we try for the lucky pot shot with you, Sebastian. We'd have to kill, even though uh, there is a chance, uh, gain a little little experience if we can get lucky on a kill as we're departing this map. 
Well, you know, a miss wasn't in the cards. <laughs> but I guess it was a low percentage hit. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Way to go, team. Lean, mean, fight machine. You guys got in there, got out fast. The tide has turned to admit defeat is blasphemy. XCOM fighting for tomorrow. Tell them to pose near an advent burger menu. For science, of course. <laughs> for science, of course. Advent officials announced an increase to this month's recruitment quotas. Citizens are encouraged to voluntarily visit their nearest recruitment center. Remember, only together can we build a better tomorrow. All right, well, not a lot of action on that one. Sorry, guys, but uh, the key point is that, that was a successful liberation I told the to mission. The best, and that's what you've shown them, Commander. Well done. All right, so we got a promotion uh, from uh, Robbie Zasso. That's good. And a promotion from uh, Guinan. And more importantly, we got a nice advanced thing, increasing our critical chance with an advanced laser sight. And I, I did, I kind of was keeping my eyes open a little bit. I did not see any extra supply goody goody crates. So, uh, so much for that sit rep, huh? Santiago, we're going to put you to work. Uh, I don't know that we have an open slot yet. Um, but let's find out what this upgrade would cost. It's all decreasing research time, so let's just see what our upgrade costs us and see how far we are away from it. Two power, which we could afford. Well, well, well. So power is becoming an issue with our first two sites. So we're going to have to hold off. We do get a benefit just from having the extra scientist at the moment, I do believe. Uh, even though it's not manned in the lab. And if we were to build something over here, what kind of power would we need? I know we don't have the funds, but for the Gorilla Tactics School, we got the supply for this one too then. That, that, I, I want that more than the upgrade to the lab at the moment. Uh, but we now know what our second row, second tier building is going to be, and that is a power relay power relay is going to go right here then we continue our big big building spree <laughs> all right let's get out there and see what our other missions are, are looking like as far as timing and we're still parked over here we got one at 67 percent a jailbreak i'm a little concerned looking at this now um yeah, what kind of a squad do we have? A four-person squad once again on that kind of uh, a mission. I, I may have to just because we only were able to fit in four with that kind of uh, light-moderate kind of resistance. I may have to back off on it, although I sure wouldn't mind the extra. And this is a large map, so sometimes these guys will be a little more spread out. We're going to have to make that call when we come back because uh, with the big jump in strength, uh, what we thought we were getting into isn't necessarily what we're getting into. And this one also, look at that. To get this scientist, free and important prisoner, all of a sudden has moderate. And I can't go around just willy-nilly over-infiltrating everybody and spending my intel as if I have it. So uh, I guess we'll advance... Yeah, strength. Vigilance is only five, but we, we got our strength three in both those regions right now, and we got a strength two over here. So strength is uh, either we're in the strong part of the map or strength is just ramp, ramping up uh, a little on the quick side. Let's see, force level is only two, so the types of enemies we're going to be facing, though, aren't too scary. We'll see. We got 28 intel, so... Technically, if I wanted to, we could boost one of these missions. Kind of feeling like I need the scientist more than the jailbreak. 
Well, 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 guys. We'll think about it. We got time to scan over here. And when that mission pops, we're either going to do it or we're not. We completed our research in remarkable time, Commander. Well, what's nice is we got some experimental weapons now. Uh, unfortunately, the two that are infiltrated right now don't have access to them. A little too late. But we got the frost bomb and we got the hunter's axe, the two biggest ones I'm most interested in grabbing. And we got the Proving Grounds going, so uh, they will be available to us potentially soon. Now the Advent o Officer Autopsy right here. What else have we got? Psionics. With the Sectoid Autopsy, I, I may do that one. I just may do that one first. Unfortunately, for laser weapons, we need some Illyrium Crystals. We could render the Illyrium core. How many crystals does that give us? Because we got to get up to laser weapons quickly. If our strength levels are going to go up, I want to get to lasers quickly also. Um, so we're going to have to, as much as I want to get a lot of different things done, I, I, I want to get us to laser weapons also. So let's uh, render an Illyrium core, see how many crystals. Let's see. Uh, eight Illyrium crystals. So that would allow us to start our research on the laser weapons. So let's do that. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. So it's only a one day little detour to get those crystals. Uh, not a bad detour. Although I had realistic... Ex if you got something to say, Tigan, you gotta start sooner. <laughs> Uh, looks like one of our missions has timed up. Let's see. Now we got 16 more hours. It's very light. Very light. Okay, yeah, very light's not so bad of a jump up. I think we can do that. I, I, here, I, here I was thinking, I was overreacting. We, we were only partially infiltrated. That's why the force levels, if we had stopped right then and there and done it, the force levels would have been that high. But very light. I think we can still uh, work on getting some extra resistance personnel for that uh, one step up it is still only a four-man crew but we're looking at a large map uh, we're gonna we're gonna give it a go so uh, next episode Beverly Crusher specialist and we do have a specialist Nikolai Carpathia is our shinobi uh, to scout it out for us we got Wharf as an assault and Homer Simpson with a technical so it's very similar to our last uh, team that we took out we just have a specialist instead of a uh, ranger which might even uh, make it a little even better so yeah I think we're up to doing it I think we're up to doing it so uh, this is zigzag zog signing off from somewhere in this world I hope you like this easy peasy breezy mission that had a nice big boom in it at least <laughs> <laughs> Join me next time to see how we do on this one. Very light with only a crew of four. Uh, let's see if we can handle it on this large map coming up. Operation Hellsteed. Thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you next time.